In today's video we're just going to talk about using the cable holder for the Panasonic G86. So when you get the camera you probably notice that um, you get this piece in the box um, and essentially it's just a, um, a, a piece that you can use as a cable tidy for the camera. So um, on the side obviously we've got our HDMI port and our um, uh, USB-C port um, and you know you can use them for sort of multiple things playback on a TV or you can use a monitor for recording um, and for USB-C um, we've got the option for power delivery and um, hopefully in the near future the option for recording uh, over SSD so you essentially um, this piece is just for keeping everything organized on that side of it so um, the way it works you open the door cover um, just so the doors up like that and you can kind of see um, there's a kind of ridge here and it just sort of uh, it just sort of sits flush with with that um, and then you just need to line the screw up with uh, this screw just underneath the um, the USB icon so you sort of just drop it down onto there sorry this is probably going to go out of camera a little bit whilst I'm doing this but um, just sit it flat on there and then you just put the screw in and it should sit nice and flat on the side of the camera. So then that's just there. Um, it, it's worth bearing in mind with this. Um, once it's on, obviously um, you can't shut the door on the side. So um, you really, um, I mean, the re whole reason this kind of exists is because the ports on the side are pretty precious. You know, you, you don't want to lose the ability to feed out to a screen. Um, you don't want to lose the ability to either charge or record externally so you have to kind of treat these um, these ports as well as you can so um, you can kind of see with this this part of it we can pull off um, it just clips on and off so that part is essentially the cable tidy and this bit is just the cable cover so um, you, you don't have to use the tidy it's you know it's just part of it if you want to use it but um, what we could do if we just grab a uh, so we've just got a small HDMI lead here that I've just run out to um, out to a screen, and then what we can do, we just put the put the cable in, and obviously you know how to put a cable into the camera, but it's just so you can kind of see what it does. So um, not all USB cables will fit in. Most USB-C cables should fit in there, and most HDMI should fit in there, but some are sort of overly bulky. Um, so there is a possibility that ones that you have may not fit in there, but for you know 99% of them, I find that they do fit. Um, but you can see that now that's gone in, that's just really secure in there, and it, it's not going to get. You know, cameras kind of there are bits coming on and off it all the time if you've got cables running out of it, and you, you just really don't want too much flex on that because um, if it does flex, then obviously it could break the port or it could break the cable. Obviously the cable is easier to replace, but if you don't have a spare one, then obviously that's a problem as well. So you, you just want to, um, you know, keep it as protected as you can. So that cover just keeps that nice and snug in there. Um, with this particular cable, I can't actually really pull that back out without taking the cover off. Um, so that's worth bearing in mind, because if I pull it by the lead, then that's probably just going to break the cable, which I don't want. So it's, um, yeah, once it's kind of on, it's on. Um, but like I say, you'd only really have it set up like this in a fairly controlled environment because um, the, the, if any of the ports are sort of left open, then you're leaving them vulnerable to, you know, dirt or dust or sand or whatever might be around. So, um, yeah, once that's in, uh, <laughs> this bit of it, I'd see people set these up all differently, how they have their cables running out. Um, I tend to have them by top and bottom, so um, I'd have the usually... I suppose it depends how the camera's set up, but um, I'd usually kind of run this out like that, so you kind of it's just tidy there, and then you can just lead it into something. Um, but some people use both sides of it, so they'll run it up like that, or you know, it's up to you how you want to use it. It's you know, your camera setup is going to be probably much different to mine, so and mine sort of changes based on you know what I'm doing that day, so. It's just a case of, you know, that that's why it's there and that's what it's for. You know, you, you may never use it, but it's worth taking out the box and just having handy just in case you do ever want to use it one day. 
So um, yeah, hopefully that's useful. If it was, give the video a like. Um, if you want more GH6 content, then please subscribe to the channel.